All right. Good morning, folks. Um, this morning, I'm here to present a kind of shortish blog. This is a video response to Simply Dominique's video on YouTube entitled 20-ish Things I Hate About DeviantArt. You can find her her work at uh, domianniki 8deviantartcom com, which I'll also put in the description. So, I have a couple of top 10 lists for you this morning, one of which is the top 10 things I like about DeviantArt, my favorite art website, Haunt. And then we have the top 10 things I dislike about DeviantArt. Okay, list time. Top 10 things I like about DeviantArt. Number 10, llamas. Love them or hate them, the action of hitting the llama page badge button is really the addition of a human element to every page view. Behind the drama and the lulls lies a reasonably clever measure of human interaction on the site. Number 9. Page Customization Let's just face it, I love slideshows and Twitter widgets. Uh, number 8. PLZ Icons As nice as DeviantArt's default emoticons are, whichever genius came up with PLZ icons deserves to be applauded. The sheer number of expressions that you can use when you utilize the icons of all the PLZ accounts on the site really gives you a lot of freedom of expression, especially on forums. Number seven, the ability to use HTML. Seriously, you have no idea how often sites don't let you do this. I'm glad DA does. Number six, groups. DA's solution to bringing together fanboys and girls of all things is also a great way to get your art out there, whatever you do. Plus, you get to talk to some pretty sweet people. Uh, number five, combination of art and commentary. The near seamless combination of art and form has been a winner for the site from day one. This is really the foundation on which this, one of the first social websites in internet history, is built on, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Number four, artist featured journals. The DA staff has been featuring particularly skilled artists in their journals lately, and it's impossible not to learn something from each and every one of them. On a side note, their art genre topics are very cool as well. Number three, stock photos, tutorials, and the like. The folks who make these are arguably the unsung heroes of DeviantArt. There's no shortage of inspiration on the site, and these guys are no smart, small part responsible for making it what it is today. Number two, stash. When I first became a beta tester on DA about a year ago, the first thing I had the good fortune of testing was stash. And I loved it. As a way to store and share art discreetly, you can't do any better. And the way they've integrated word processing, and, as I speculate, will integrate Muro into stash, stands to turn it into a really fantastic digital notebook as well. This is probably one of my favorite developments in the last year. Number one, the forums. Call it a den of trolls, call it a pit of drama, call it the dregs of the internet, call it what you will, but, like any place hard traveled, if you go to the forums, you will learn something. Go to the politics board, you'll learn to write an essay. Go to the thumb stair, you can discover new work. Go to praise, you'll just have good old fun. The forums are actually a pretty good place to be, especially if you want to popularize yourself within the community. Okay, so that's it for the top 10 things I like. Now it's time for the top 10 things I dislike. Top 10 things I dislike about DeviantArt. Number 10, points. They're mostly useless, and they're often used by weak cartoonists to severely undercut professionals trying to get work. I only use them for promotions, and I think llamas are better. Number 9, inflation art. For no other reason... For no reason really other than the fact that it's done to death. You're going to find every fetish under the sun on the internet, but here it seems to be all about inflation. And, yeah, like I said, I just see it way too much. Number eight, unmarked mature art. The site may not be for anyone under 13, but it's large enough that the young uns are on here looking to be inspired. If you're going to make gory softcore porn, at least have the decency to use a mature tech checkbox. I don't want 11-year-old kids with bleeding eyes, okay? Number seven, weak use, of, weak use of memes. Come on, folks. Trollface has been done to death. Uh, number six, screen caps not in scraps. I respect that as a social site, we do want to share our achievements 
and I don't mind folks taking screenshots depicting their milestones. That's cool. The thing is, though, is that the screen caps of your 666 page views look very unprofessional in your featured folder, so stick them in your stash or scraps, okay? <clears throat> Alright, number five. Generic anime artists. I'm sorry, but there are way too many of you guys. I mean, really. Seriously. Draw something else. Please. Number four. People accusing all anime artists of being weebos and other such generalizations. Though I may not respect clearly unoriginal anime artists on the site, there are a lot of people who work in the style very well, and not all these folks want to live in Japan. Yume is perfectly fine in China, thank you very much. Also, not all inflation artists or furries are perverts. Some are just working for them. Okay, number three. Troll brigades. Sometimes a crowd of folks decrying an art thief is important, but I've seen a number of fairly decent artists who made just one mistake trolled off right off the site, and that isn't something I can appreciate. Number two. Stored deviations. More often than not, people store genuinely good work unnecessarily, making this feature something of a sick tease. It's like saying, this artist had a great picture here, but you'll never see it! If you really need your work to be private, just stash it, okay? Spare the agony. Alright, and the number one thing I dislike about DeviantArt, the forums. Let's just face it, the damn place is full of trolls. Alright, so that's it for my top 10 list vlog. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to continue on this sort of thing. Um, I was also thinking of putting some uh, art casting and, uh, you know, so you can see me draw. and Or possibly some game playing. Um, I can only do so many of these at once, so kind of let me know below which one you'd like me to work on. Um, and I'll see if I can get some videos up for you over the summer. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. MuscleBot64 out. Can you stop this?